from one athlete who lost it all, Mr. Smith, to another who is creating his own business empire in retirement. Hardly retirement for Jarvis Green. He won two Super Bowl rings with the New England Patriots, reportedly made more than 20 million in his career. Called it quits, uh, tried his hand first in construction, but was restless, didn't particularly like it. So that's when he uh, went all Forrest Gump, taking a six month unpaid internship at the Louisiana Shrimping Company, peeling, cleaning, boxing shrimp. He even navigated boats to learn about the business from the ground up before starting his own company, Oceans 97, a wholesale supplier of frozen shrimp. From cleats to crustaceans. That, now that, Jarvis, I don't believe I was able to say that all that well, but I did. Jarvis Green, welcome. Yes. Nice to have you with us. Oh, thank you very much. How y'all doing? Uh, we're doing great, thank you. Now, you're a Louisiana guy, so this must have in some sense come naturally to you, shrimping. Well, it, yes, yes and no. I mean, I got into business about six years ago. I had a friend of mine. He was a Vietnamese uh, Asian family. They had a, a lot of boats. It was the Vietnamese co-op. He said, hey, Jarvis, uh, you're a favor. And I said, yes, what you need me to do? Can you help me sell some shrimp for my family? I said, okay. And I'm like, in Louisiana? And he was like, no, I want you to go back to Boston we used to play football at. I say, great, but I didn't know anything about the shrimp business. So, so that's why I started a six month internship and that's where it started. How hard was it to learn the business from the ground up? Ooh. It was tough because I didn't know anything. I was going in blind. So when I got into the internship, the first two weeks they gave me a mop and broom and I started doing that. And I, was, I lived about maybe 80 miles away at the time. And I remember one day, uh, my, my past CEO was saying, hey, you really want to do this? I said, give me the broom. I'm here. You know, at that time, I wanted to find something, but it was really hard. It was just every day going in. Sometimes I had 12-hour you know, days, 15-hour days, sometimes 18-hour days of just working and working and just learning and just taking you know, one step at a time. You actually suggest to people your number one piece of advice is to do an internship. What did you learn? Yes. And, and when, at what point did you say, you know what, this is for me. These 12-hour days, it's hard work. This is yeah. for me. This is my business. Well, I mean, when I started, so the internship, I was doing every two weeks to three weeks, I was doing a different trade under the roof in the shrimp industry, from peeling the vein in, uh, the head in, uh, filling up the ice vats with, with the ice on, on the boats, on the docks. And then every, every day for so many hours, I was doing the sales part of it. And each day or each week, I did more and more hours to get to that point. And it was hard. And I know when I started calling the different retailers around the country, you get a bunch of no's in the, in the sales business. But I know I had to keep moving forward. And when I started having confidence in myself, well, from the first sale, that's when everything went uphill from there, just the confidence level and just doing things more efficient. Fantastic. What, what do you think about the show that we have on tonight? And why is it so necessary? I mean, why is it that so many big players end up, after making all this money, end up with nothing? It, it, we have the show on tonight because it's such a yeah. pervasive problem. Why is that? You know, you, you talk about the different uh, the statistics when a player retires from, from anything, you know, two to three years, bankrupt, divorce, uh, suicide, a lot of mental problems, uh, just a lot of things. I just think, you know, like with football, we get paid in 17 weeks, not the entire year. I mean, it's an aggressive sport, and you make so much money. It's like giving a, a 18, 19 year old, even when it comes to baseball, a 17 year old kid, a lottery ticket. And from there, it's just, it's just damage. But I know for me, I mean, I went through a lot of things when I played. I played nine years, and I got to say, I had a lot of people around me that was great influencers. I had some people that was negative, but, but for me, I see consistently the same people that I have today on my team, like Eddie Roman from our D, you know, from for DMS, a guy like him, I mean, my agent, he passed away now, but I had a really good team just to tell me the things to do the right things. Now, a lot of times I didn't listen. Real? Being stubborn, being hard-headed. Real, real quick question. Parents yes. ask you, should I let my son mm -hmm. play football or should I push him into business? What would you tell him? Quick. I would let him play football. I mean, he's young. You're a kid. I mean, they have more concussions than soccer. I mean, football is a great sport. It's a great team sport. It teach right. him how to live life and be more efficient. I'm going to get some of that Ocean's 97 product. Yes. Thank you, Jarvis. Appreciate it. Thank you. Continued good luck.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.